Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'll be explaining why the Storm Tower hasn't come out yet and why it couldn't be coming out for a while. What this all comes down to is really Prodigy's storyline. If you've forgotten the storyline, it goes something like this. The Puppet Master steals all the gems from the Academy, we have to get them back. Once we get them back, we have to put them in their pedestals that Gale hasn't fixed for five years. Then we save all the Wardens, and we are supposedly to battle the Puppet Master in one final big boss battle. And then the game ends and everybody's happy, right? Well, not exactly. Once the storyline is over, Prodigy is also over, which means the game would end. <laughs> And once the game ends, then there'd be no reason for people to play it. And in case you didn't know, it's pretty hard to make money when people aren't playing your game. I mean, if we take a look at some of the biggest app games out there, such as Among Us and Subway Surfers, the reason they're so successful is because you can play them for hours on end. The game itself never ends. But with Prodigy, because it has its storyline, the game would eventually end, which means players would stop playing it. And if Prodigy adds all the towers and things too soon, then the game itself would actually would be over and like I said there'd be no reason for people to play it anymore. Now I don't know why Prodigy can't add other islands like Harmony Island and Crystal Caverns to satisfy us while we wait but hey that's just the way that Prodigy is. Yep that's me. But you might want to check out this video because you might like it as well. Anyway guys please drop a like and subscribe and anyway guys I'll catch you on the flip flop.